Today we're looking at a really affordable way to power your DSLR and other accessories for under $100. Hey guys, Caleb here. This is a really, really interesting piece of equipment and it's going to uh, really provide a lot of shooters with a very affordable way to power your DSLR and other accessories. The most popular power solution right now is those V-mount battery power plates. And uh, the problem with those is first you have to spend around $300 for the plate itself. Then you gotta turn around and spend between three and $800 for the actual batteries. They're really expensive. Um, and uh, while they last a long time, that's a lot of money to put out there. So one of the ways you can save a lot of money is get one of these guys. And what's unique about this is not only is it affordable, but it uses Sony MP batteries and converts them to your DSLR and other accessories. So if we turn it around here, you'll see it's an aluminum uh, plate here, and then we have two sections for your uh, batteries here. And they just slide right in, and uh, boom. You can add any Sony MP batteries. You can get the honking ones like this, which you can find on Amazon for like $30 or so, or even less, 15 to 30 bucks. And so I have two of those guys on this sucker. And then it has a cable that goes down to a um, LPE6, or you can get one for, um, or you can get a model that works for all the Rebel cameras. Uh, so it's a really, really unique tool. Now, it does have some pros and cons. The pro is that this thing lasts forever. I had this thing running for almost a day, and I had the monitor powered by this unit as well as the camera. I was recording on and off and um, it just never stopped. This is the same setup. I haven't taken the batteries off to charge them yet. They're just, they keep going. So I've really been impressed with how uh, much power this sucker is outputting, how long it's lasting. Um, the con is it's not super well made. And if you look at the pictures and when you get it, it actually looks kind of scary. The actual mounts for the batteries uh, look almost like they were hand glued on. Um, I haven't noticed it you know, an issue where I feel like the battery is going to pop off or break, but it isn't obviously going to be the strongest thing. V mount lock batteries are so much stronger. Uh, but again, we're saving money by using this setup. You have this really weird looking ancient button, um, which has the light to let you know you actually have power. And then you have a couple different options here. So right now I have the one, this cable right here, which is a very easy to remove cable, uh, just pops right in and out. It has a nice uh, ring lock on it, pops right in. And then I have another uh, 12 volt going to my monitor here. So I can turn this on. Once I turn that on, turn my monitor on, switch the camera on, and it's gonna power this whole thing. The other thing I didn't really like about this unit was uh, down here, it attaches via 15 millimeter rods. And uh, these knobs aren't really strong and the actual uh, unit isn't terribly strong. So you'll actually look and you'll see that they have these cheap rubber washers that are completely you know, ripped off almost because I had to tighten it down because it was moving. And you can see, even though I have it tightened almost all the way down, I could probably crank it down a little more. Um, it still moves a little bit if you really push it. So what I did to solve this is I had one of these. This is a little 50 millimeter rod clamp from Small Rig. Uh, this is pretty affordable. You can get them on Amazon for pretty cheap. So what I would do is I attach it to the back here and then uh, it ratchets, which is really nice. And then I would tighten it down and that would really lock this down so this won't move anymore. But that's, you know, it's not really well made. So um, that's something to consider. But at the end of the day for let's see, $100 for the actual plate, and then 15 to 20 bucks for each of the batteries. You're around 150 or less for a whole day of powering both your monitor and your camera. And that's something that really helped me because I, I was getting so tired of swapping out each of the batteries every time it died. And the Small HD, what I like about it, this particular model, the Small HD DP4, has a Canon plate. So I can use the same batteries on my camera 
on this uh, monitor, but it runs through them fairly quickly. So this setup is awesome. I just grab it and go. I also like how it weighs down the rig a little bit. So I get this nice, um, very steady, it's really supporting the sensor, uh, very steady kind of a look. So I do like that a lot and uh, it is kind of compact. You can see the way I have it configured because I'm using a monitor, I'm not worried about the camera screen being blocked. So this whole setup drops beautifully into my Porta Brace bag. So I really like that. Um, so that is a very affordable way to power your camera. Um, I do recommend it, even though it's not the best construction for $150 to have a whole day almost of filming is fantastic. You really can't go wrong with that. And these batteries are so industry standard. They're used on monitors. I use them on my LED panels. Um, they're awesome so great way to power your camera and this tool can be used for so many different things these batteries can be used for so many different things so it's not a proprietary setup which is fantastic you can find links to all the stuff i've talked about today at dslrvideoshooter.com below this video and i'll see you next time